Hey TV fans, it's Greg the TV Genius and I'm a TV Genius. Today I want to talk to you guys about Salem Season 2, Episode 2. Wow, this season's awesome so far. We're only two episodes in and it's amazing. I've loved this show since they started and I can't wait to see what happens next, where they go. I'm so anxious to see where the characters go. We've got some new witches this season and a few new characters and I'm so, so excited. I love this show. When I think of witches, I think of kind of the dirty, bodily fluid spewing, haggy looking witches, you know, connected to the darkest and dankest parts of of nature as along with Satan and serpents and slugs and things like that and toads and this show does an amazing job showing that and portraying that with the witches and I just love it I love everything about it I can't wait to see where they go from here um, Anne has finally come into her powers and it's amazing to see her this season try to hold off from hurting people and try to hold off from using her powers she was in her in her home and uh, the guy came the one of the men that would that stood up against Mary Sibley about being a woman and running the town even though she's a woman she he said that didn't work he came to Anne and said that she shouldn't be alone she needs protection now that she doesn't have a mother and father and the whole time Anne was just sitting there trying to hold back her power trying to keep herself from exploding this guy's head and his and his nose started to bleed and drip onto her hand and then it kind of closed in on his eyes and you could see his head was just about to explode and you see Anne she's just sitting there shaking holding her breath trying not to use her power trying not to kill this guy and it was just so amazing so authentic to me I felt it I could feel myself being it trying to hold magic back I mean I felt how she felt it was awesome they did such an amazing job with that scene awesome scene um she put on the mask, which transported her outside of Reverend Cotton Mather's door. She went in to talk to Cotton Mathers, told him what was happening, and Countess Marburg came in. Countess Marburg is the newest witch to the show, and she's an ancient German uh, purebred witch. So it's going to be really interesting to see about her. I'm so excited to see more about her. She, she When she shook... Anne's hand, she kind of took her inside of her own soul so they could talk without Cotton Mathers seeing. And when they did, she was in, Anne was inside of a bathtub in the middle of this wilted, dead forest, surrounded by fireflies. And Countess Marburg walks up to talk to her, kind of, kind of appears to talk to her. She could teleport, you know. That's the powers that I've seen so far. She can also choke people with her mind. That's what I've seen so far. So. She, she walks up to talk to her and asks her, you know, what happened in Salem? Who started the Grand Rite? That's what she wanted to know. And Anne said she didn't know. Well, when she kissed her, she gained all the information that she needed. She also said she tasted like honey and innocence. I thought that was really neat. She's got some very interesting gifts, and I think she's going to be very powerful and a very formidable enemy to Mary Sibley. Or she could be a very formidable friend, you know, or a very good friend, a great ally. So that's what, that's what Countess Marburg is all about right now. We don't know yet. We don't know why she wants to know who initiated the Grand Reich. She seems interested in Mary Sibley, but we don't know why. And I think we're going to find out very soon. John Alden has come back to town finally. He's going to kill all the witches. He's hidden. Mary Sibley thinks he's dead thanks to the Indians. The Indians sent him to the seer that lives out in the woods, the one who took his eyeballs out and placed them in Mary Sibley's hand to show him, show her how John had supposedly died according to the Indians. Well, when he goes to him, he asked him who all the witches are, and you know, he was very vague with him, which I think bothered John. John turned him around and just killed him. John Alden's become a real badass this season, so I'm excited to see what happens in the next episode. Um, I, I really still don't think he'll be able to kill Mary Sibley, but we'll see. Another thing I want to talk about is the beginning of the episode. Mary, it started off with Mary having a bunch of her the townspeople come and burn the crags, which is where all the bodies are and where Marcy, Mercy Lewis and all of her followers stay and lay down to kind of hide. And when they burnt them, they all just hopped up in the middle of flames, just on fire and burning alive, screaming. And I thought that was just an 
awesome scene. I wonder how the townspeople thought, you know, what they thought of that. Like, oh man, well here's Sign of Wishes right here. Look at him hop up and burn. I mean, that's just crazy, hopping up out of dead bodies and burning. And how many of you thought the whole episode that it was Mercy Lewis who stuck her hand out of the ashes and was walking, making that weird breathing sound to the town? I'm wondering what kind of transformation these dead bodies have undergone. I'm sure we'll find out in the next episode since one of them have found their way home. It's going to be so cool to see. But I'm very upset that they've killed Mercy Lewis so quickly. She was my favorite of all the witches and they killed her so fast. I'm just wondering if she's really dead. I'm making a prediction now that she's not. What a great show, you guys. Another thing I just want to talk to you guys about is Mary Sibley's son. How creepy is he? I know she's anxious to keep him and have him around full time, but he is creepy. He's a bad seed, it looks like, and even though Mary Sibley's a witch, I do not think that she's going to want her son being that evil and torturous, but it's going to be cool to see what happens next. It just seems like a lot of the shows that I watch these days are going very far with children and it's just a creepy thing I think using children like that and he's torturing you know um, George Sibley he's torturing him with needles and wanting to poke him in the eye and Tichaba says don't let your mother see that I'm sure it's because she just wouldn't like it she just wouldn't want that for her child so I'm so excited to see what they do with him as well I can't wait to talk to you guys more about this next week and I'll see you guys next time subscribe and like